Hello everyone! Welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the key up event, which is just the opposite of what we learned yesterday, which is the key down event with the mouse. Even though the mouse has nothing to do with keyboard, that's what Roblox decided and that's what we gotta do. Uh, so, let's just go into our local script. And I'm not going to give a recap or anything. If you guys need a recap, please just go back to the last video. Because this video is supposed to be kind of short. I went over a lot more than I wanted to last time. And this tutorial, we're going to change this function up a little bit. We're going to change it to keep the key and then just type in is down. Oops, I have failed. There we go. Key is down. And I'm pretty sure I covered... Uh, concatenation. In fact, I'm almost certain I did. And uh, concatenation is just when you put these two dots here and you put two strings together, basically. Uh, just a recap in case I didn't cover it or whatever. Uh, done. And that's just going to tell us, okay, that key is down. That's great. But we're also going to make a new handler for a new event called the key up event. So mouse up connect function and this event works a lot like key down as it passes us a uh, parameter which is the character of the key that uh, was acted upon okay so we're gonna just use key again and this time we're gonna do print key concatenate the string released and we're actually gonna change this is down to pressed because it's more realistic as to what the uh, event really means and now let's just recap real quick what we just wrote mouse that's our mouse object up there and that doesn't just mean this it also means our keyboard uh, because roblox is weird like that mouse that key up that means when we release a key okay key down is when we push down key up is when we release connect we're connecting a handler to our function or the event we make our own handler by making a function when the event passes us a uh, variable in the parameters and it's a character so we name that parameter key and then we'll print which prints to the output which I'm not gonna really slide down to there and then we're printing the key and concatenating the word released so that we know that that key was released and then we're ending so now if we go so we can see this in action uh, we see blevers. Great job, you got in here too. Apparently, they're showing more than one splash screen, and that's awesome. Good job. I didn't vote for you, but still an awesome job. And I just dropped a meteor. Yay, me. I love how it always barely misses me. It's a great script. Uh, and there's our GUI again. And now we can go down here to our output, and I, I guess I accidentally pressed 1 twice. I don't know why. Oh, I, I know why I pressed 1. I press 1 to release my tool. Anyway, 1 press and 1 release. That's perfect. That's what it should be saying because I accidentally pressed 1 instead of clicked it. I didn't think that through. Uh, but let's just press B. Oh, I got to focus on this again. B. A. L. E. R. 1. 3. S. N. R. O. C. K. S. All right. B, B, B pressed, B released, A pressed, A released, L pressed, L released, E pressed, E released, R pressed, R released, 1 pressed, 1 released, 3 pressed, 3 released, S pressed, uh, S released, N pressed, N released, R pressed, R released, O pressed, O released, C pressed, C released, C, or K pressed, K released, S pressed, S released, that got repetitive! Um, it's working, so we know when a key is pressed. So let's just try pressing several keys at once. I'm going to press A. Oh, I got focusing it. A, S, D, N, F all at once, and you see it all is like that. Now I'm going to release them all at once, and or as close to all at once as my humanness can, and we'll see what happens. It actually went S released, F released, A released, and D released. So you can actually see this is also a good way to see how you move your fingers. But it worked perfectly. It didn't lose track of anything. So 
I give us a thumbs up on this script, and I hope you give it a thumbs up too. So I will catch you guys later. Please hit the like or dislike button. Of course, let me know how you felt about this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, even though I'm getting this all mixed up. And I'll catch you guys later.